nothing today in expiry very you know random volatile expiry if you're a directional player it's one more day where you just sit on your positions and do nothing if you're a non-directional player who is selling options kind of tough day to uh, manage the volatility if you are a player buying options today must have been an absolute nightmare right uh, so let's uh, but for those of you who are new here what do we do here we are uh, uh, running this looking at nifty bank nifty and dollar and we are trying to <laughs> predict the market and predict some trade based on uh, charts open interest and fidi data uh, our premise is that whatever the big guys with money with knowledge with info with edge are doing they that will be shown in the data that will be shown in the chart that will be shown in the open interest and fidi data so instead of trying to make our own predictions about the market based on economy and what's happening in china and whatnot we just try to copy whatever they are up to right so this is what uh, uh what this is what uh uh Lagre market is about so let's get started right so yesterday we had said that uh, there is a possibility that nifty will go up further expiry could be around uh 18,400 uh, uh, but that did not work out there was a lot of oi at 18,400 i think that's what prevented it or the fact that it won't go up made them sell the oi but in whichever case the market was exactly where it is nothing happened and it just stopped right i mean um, we had said that stay long do not short yesterday uh, but then we might as well have said key don't be short don't be long just you know don't trade uh, uh, so i mean th there's nothing in it right if we have had positions from the last week which are long it's just you can just hold on to it if it's futures nothing has happened uh, uh, it is where it is uh, but if it is uh, uh, options uh, uh, you might have lost uh, premium so which is one of the things which we had said that it's a good idea to consider rolling over to the next expiry because today's expiry just right so i even i tried doing some very cute stuff by buying 8300 calls in the morning but uh, <laughs> that didn't go well uh, I, in fact, I sold 8300 puts also, but I got stopped out there. So imagine the horror of it. Oh, everything went wrong. Uh, but uh, uh, but anyway, so let's talk about uh, what's next, right? So if you look at Nifty chart, we had said yesterday that look, this candle which was formed yesterday was a bullish hammer or dragonfly doji. And if a close happens above this thing, then it's easy for Nifty to continue. But the problem is the close is happening somewhere around this level. It's not a convincingly strong close, but it still looks like it's a decent close. It has not really gone into this zone below. There is significant buying here. So every dip is getting bought into and if he is sustaining and it is still in this COVID trend line ka above ka zone. So still there is no reason to short nifty for a big target it is still a buy on tips market we are still above uh yesterday's close which means there is some you know uh, but however there is it is covering the body of yesterday's candle right so i'll include like a 10 percent doubt key shayad tomorrow maybe a slight dip right uh, the candle is negative uh so i'll add the significant part but uh still in the bullish territory though so it is mixed signals in the sense that although the medium to long term trend for me looks like up there is a slight dip today right so nifty negative candle covers the body of yesterday candle but still in bullish territory wait and watch my bias is uh, you know i'll wait and watch but i simply because if i wait and nifty corrects a little bit it might be a buy, better buying opportunity but bank nifty on the other hand is uh, it's much simpler uh, i mean nothing is simple i mean to say that it is an easier chart to interpret uh, you can see this right yesterday was a bullish hammer today is the confirmation candle because it has closed above the bullish hammer in fact bank nifty looks more bullish to me than uh, nifty so bank nifty looks good uh, dollar is very tricky 
because now it is almost threatening this uh, 100 and 200 150 dma i have a feeling dollar might just go up and that is scary because because i have dollar shorts <laughs> but other than that it can also mean that uh, risk is coming back to the market and therefore uh, there can be correction in nifty bank nifty etc dollar is looking tricky and it can have as much as a 40 paise upside towards 80 i mean 50 paise upside towards 80.6 to 80.7 zone right so not 80 point sorry 82.6 to 82.7 dollar can give upside till so that's a little worrisome but otherwise uh, if dollar breaks the current level it can go all the way till here right so dollar might might have some upside so nifty negative candle kind of mixed signals i'm still in the bio dips bank nifty looks stronger than nifty uh, and dollar uh, i'll just add that also stronger than nifty if you want to play a bullish play play bank nifty maybe better than nifty and if you want to really gamble play bank nifty don't play nifty because it is much more gambly much more volatile uh, <laughs> so if you look at uh, option chain see this is day one right the first day of uh, uh, expiry there's nothing much in it except that you can see there is more call addition than put addition also you can see there's much more call addition call standing here than puts pcr is 0 0.7 which is kind of neutral uh, so that's that uh, and um, and finally going to fii dii data surprisingly fii dii data is not all that negative why because see the number of calls is almost equal to the number of puts here right and as an EAK, Arj, FIA took some bhayankar selling question. They bought 35k calls, they bought 30k puts. Net net it is like plus 5k in favor of calls. So yeah, it is neutral at the very best on uh, options question, right? But overall, if you look at the fact that there are as many calls outstanding as puts, it's actually a slightly bullish sign, right? Because usually puts are way more than calls. Now it is almost equal. I call that bullish. This, although, is negative. Right, 700 crores futures sell is negative, but not mega negative because a mega negative will be like 1500, 2000 crore type selling. Right, we have seen those kind of selling in the past before. So, if you look at this, right, you can see there has been 2000 crore buy, 2500 crore sell, etc. etc. This is negative, but not all that negative. Also, if I bought stocks today, 800 crores, which is not bad. Uh, so, overall, right, net net. Uh, I still think it's a bull on buy on dips market. It can, if it consolidates above yesterday, that is where base close, which is around this zone, right? This green line which you have drawn, then we can easily see Nifty going up. Still a buy on dips for me. Uh, and Bank Nifty looks bullish to me um, because it has it has not really tested the all time high a second time. And that is uh, another 500 point, but we're very close to it. It's probably another 1% away. Maybe it's consolidating to finally break that. Who knows, right? Uh, so, I mean, it is a little bit of a wait and watch in the sense that I won't jump in and take a position on today's, on tomorrow's opening. Uh, but if it gives me a sense that it is consolidating at lower levels or consolidating above yesterday's close, I would want to uh, go along, right? And Bank Nifty definitely looks bullish. Uh, so that's that. Uh, net net, uh, what trades? Uh, this is a tough one. But uh, if so, here's the thing, right? IVs are low, so it's very tempting to uh, buy options. So, but then tomorrow is a weekend, and if nothing happens, you lose a lot of pita, right? Uh, so, option buying is tricky, right? Uh, because of because theta decay and um, option selling is not uh, something I would adv uh, advise at this point because it's very low IV right in case something goes wrong towards the downside then you'll actually lose quite a bit because of this uh, selling at low IV I mean even if you sell at high IV if it really goes down your toast but I'm just saying that 
there's a right price for uh, you know being toasted right so this is not the right price to be toasted uh, uh, i i think uh, spreads are a safe way to express your view uh, bull call spread is a decent uh, rr idea so i would do bull call spread so now i'll just explain what kind of uh, uh, elon musk is saying down down is down okay i mean not the real elon musk there's a user here called elon musk uh, Okay, what else is there? Bank Nifty made a double top on 15 minute time frame. Yeah, the problem is this, right? Uh, this double top is something which you should look at from a extremely big time frame, like six months, etc. It's not a like. See, the problem with looking at um, patterns, right, is uh, uh, like. For example, a lot of people say that uh, okay, there's a top here. Five days later, there's another top. It's a double top. That's not a double top. The classical double top pattern has six months gap between the two tops. So, uh, I mean, it's good to uh, do uh, pattern identification, but if you do it on a time frame which it is not intended to be, right? It can go very awry. I mean, this is my two cents. I could be wrong because maybe things have changed. Uh, but uh, anyway. Uh, so let me just look at uh, uh, I need to turn my camera off for this. If you look at USDNR on a futures chart, there is a bullish engulfing here and that's just, that's not a very good news because it can go up further. So dollar looks like long. In fact, I might be tempted to see I'll tell you what right the single biggest thing which is worrying me about a downside in Nifty Bank Nifty is the fact that, dollar is looking strong and usually a strong dollar uh, means a weak nifty bank nifty usually right so it's a little tricky doing dollar right now uh, so let me just see what else is left uh, so tomorrow is friday so the most important thing let's see what the weekly charts are looking like uh, and weekly charts can be so the yeah, weekly chart is strong this is a very strong weekly chart right i mean this weekly this is i mean in fact right if i look at nifty's uh, weekly chart unless there's like a mega correction tomorrow and nifty closes somewhere like 18 1 150 can each or something right uh, then this is a marubozu green candle which has invalidated the shooting star of last week right that is a strong close so even if nifty gives like a slightly negative close tomorrow right let's say 18250 it means that we have a strong close and bullishness is likely to continue because this is a green candle right let's look at bank nifty in fact now that i'm looking at weekly chart i'm a little more relieved about nifty now now look at bank nifty's weekly candle right Bank Nifty a weekly candle is also looking at a strong green candle, decent volumes. The uh, last week's candle, which was this bearish uh, piercing, is invalidated. So tomorrow, when when close comes, pay attention to the close where it closes. If both Nifty and Bank Nifty gives positive green candles on close, right? And by that I mean Bank Nifty closing in any kind of a green big candle other than like a shooting star or something. And nifty closing also in this kind of a green candle, then there's more bullishness to come. I wouldn't worry about nifty and bank nifty going down. I will be worried if they close forming a negative candle, uh, uh, let's say below 18150 or something, which will be a shooting star, right? At that point, I would say um, it is probably a trap coming, right? But till then, I would probably not worry about uh, Nifty. What else? Mm. 
the Vayuputra traders is asking, yesterday you predict market act like bullish, what happened? Dude, see the thing is this, right? Nobody gets timing, direction, everything right every day. Right? If somebody does that, probably, you know, uh, <laughs> never mind, right? But, but uh, you only tend to get things right in a decent enough time frame, right? Let's say two days, three days, four days. Like, if you say market is bullish tomorrow, it might not happen tomorrow. It could happen day after tomorrow also. So trying to get both direction and time frame right is a very dangerous game. I don't think there are, I mean, I, at least I can't do that for sure. So uh, try to do, um, try to get, cut yourself some uh, slack by trying to trade slightly longer term, right? Extremely short term trading is a little tricky. Uh, what is so um, Shankar is, say, is saying I'm a positive person I'm mostly positive about markets dude at one point the same Janta used to call me like the bear cartel president of JP Nagar so, <laughs> so no no I keep changing uh, anyway uh, uh, anyway this is our uh, this thing for today we'll see you again tomorrow no, Sunday evening uh, so until we meet again, uh, uh, please take care and keep your capital safe. Bye.